All right, welcome back my party people. Let's go ahead and get to this problem here and really continue understanding what it's like to take the area of composite figures. So let's get to it. So we have all of this, you know, being said here. And look, at the end of the day, what our goal is, is to calculate the shaded area in square units representing the concrete filling. So we see here that we're trying to calculate the shaded area. We're not trying to calculate this right here. It kind of looks like we have a triangle and then we're taking out this circular piece, right? So we're gonna keep things simple before we get into all the formulas and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and you know pay attention here because again, it's gonna start simple, but we are gonna throw in those ideas. So a triangular boundary was made to support a circular well. It was filled with concrete in the area surrounding the well. So, okay, so this is a well and this is the concrete that's surrounding it. All right, cool. And so the goal of the problem is again, calculate the shaded area. So let's keep things simple here. What we can do here is we can flat out say, okay, we can find out what the area of the whole triangle is. And then we can take out that circular section on the inside, right? And that's exactly what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and find the area of that big old triangle there. And then we're going to subtract the area of the circle. And we're good. That's it right there. And that's it right there. That's the idea. So if you follow it along up to this point, then you can see that this is a doable problem. The only question is, okay, how do we calculate the area of the triangle? How do we calculate the area of the circle? Then we subtract and we're done, right? But again, it's all about breaking it down into small, simple steps before you let the numbers take over, before you let the anxiety kick in, right? And so let's get to it. So how are we going to take care of this? Well, nice and easy. We're going to remind ourselves of the area of a triangle first. So the area of a triangle, remember that the area of a triangle will be one half of its base times its height. As always, my Mazvab party people, thank you for watching this video. Before we continue, just wanted to remind you that if you're struggling with the ASVAB, if you struggle with test anxiety, blanking out on problems, then you need to consider the ASVAB All Access program. Thousands of my students have tried it out and they have always raised their scores if they use it the right way because there's always a way to learn for whatever method you like best from recorded lessons to live classes to guided practice videos to printable worksheets to speed drills to help you test and raise your confidence and speed to casual practice that comes with video solutions. Every single way that you can think of over 10,000 questions, all of it lined up for you, ready for you to get started right now. So at the very least, check out the link in the description so you can see exactly how it works and why again, over a thousand of my students have raised their scores with it all the way through. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the video. But don't forget, check out that program. I think you'll like it. Up until somewhere, you know, somewhere between the two vertices. So this is not gonna work. Six will not work. Don't try to force things. I know a lot of us may be looking at this and saying, well, I see a six there. I'm going to force the issue. I'm going to hope for the best. But that's how you get tricked into picking the wrong answer. We need the whole base. So with that said, you know, we have this much of the base so far. Now, how are we supposed to get the remaining bit of the base? So from here to here, how are we supposed to get that part? Well, we can get that by noticing the circle itself. And this has to do with knowing what the radius of a circle is. The radius of a circle is essentially the distance from the middle all the way to an edge. So it could be there, it could be here, it could be there, it could be there, it could be here, it doesn't matter. And so if this from the middle to the bottom here is two, well, guess what? That means that the distance from the middle to the left side here is also going to be two. Because again, the radius is the distance from the center to any part of the circle. And so if you see here, they label the distance from the center to the end here as two, which means the center to the end here is also two, which is pretty interesting here because it gives us a good opportunity to figure out what that base is. Because again, if this is two and this over here is six, then what's the base going to be? Eight, that's correct. So my base here is eight. My base here equals eight, right there. Okay, great, we've got one part of this figured out. Now what's the height? Well. The height, similar situation, we see that you know for the height, it only extends to the top of the circle here. And so with that, what's the rest? What is the rest gonna be? Great question again. And it's gonna be this similar, a similar response here. 
We're going to use that circle to understand this. How? Well, think about it like this. Again, we see here that from here to here is two. So we can say that from here to here is two. Okay. But what about from here to here? What is that going to be? That's also going to be two because that's also the radius of the circle. Because again, from the center to the bottom is two, to the left side is two, to the right side is two, to the top is going to be two. And so that's going to be two as well. And this is also the diameter of the circle. You can see that the whole thing is going to be four. And again, that will be four together. But nonetheless, nonetheless, we have two, two, and two, which makes a total of six. So that means that my height for my triangle equals six. And so we have enough now to perform the area of our triangle. And so the area of the triangle will be one half of the base times the height, which will be six. And so we have eight times six, which will give us 48. 48 divided by two is 24. So the area of my triangle is 24 square units. U squared, you can write it like that. You don't even have to write the U squared if you don't want to. It's just me being formal, formal and proper here with it. But nonetheless, there we go. We have our area for our triangle. Great, 24. So the second part of this was, hey, what's the area of the circle? Let's go ahead, figure out that area, subtract it, and we're done. So with that said, we're taking a look here. And you can automatically, honestly, eliminate C and D as an answer. Because if you're taking out from the 24, there's no way you're going to go up, right? There's no way you're going to go up. And if you're looking at 23.44, I mean, yeah, you might, it might be reasonable to say that the area of this circle is going to be more than one. And so if you want, you know, if you only had a minute on this, which depending on which test you're taking, you know, you may only have a minute, you can quickly decide that that's going to be A. If the whole triangle is 24, taking the circle out is going to have to be much less than 24. And you can go ahead and say A is your answer. But let's confirm it so that way we can feel good about this. So let's remind ourselves of the area of a circle here. So I'm going to write it right next to me here. So right over here uh, next to me, we're going to see here that we have the area of a circle is pi multiplied by the radius squared. And it looks like I did write a little too far there. So let me go ahead and poop that right there. All right, cool. So pi times the radius squared. What's our radius here? Well, our radius is going to be two, just like we said. We wrote it out a bunch of different times. It's two. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and just erase this over here so I have more space to write. And so as a reminder, the area of a circle will be pi multiplied by the radius squared. And for pi, we will be using 3.14 here for estimation. And then we have 2 as the radius, and that's squared. 2 squared is the same thing as saying 2 times 2, which is 4. So we can say 3.14 times 4. 3.14 times 4, you can use your mental math here if you'd like to. 3 times 4 gives you 12. Uh, 14 times 4, that'll end up being 56. So we have 12.56 as the area of our circle. And so there it is, 12.56. And so at this time, you can absolutely be confident that you're going to take these areas away. And so you're going to do 24 minus 12.56. All right, cool. And so in doing so, you can say, hey, let me subtract the 12 first. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. So I'm doing, tw so I subtract the tw uh, 12 from 24, so I got 12 and I still have to subtract the 0.56. I can take away the 0 0.5 first, so 11.5 minus 0 0.06. And again, I'm doing this mentally. I don't want to have to borrow a bunch of ones. And stuff. It's not necessary. And so minus 0 0.06, you get 11.44. Booyah. And so now we can be confident and confirm that A is indeed the answer. But again, if you're on a time crunch and you're taking a look at this, you can quickly find the area of the triangle. That's pretty easy to do as long as you understand how the radius of a circle works. Oh, cool. That's two. That's two. That's two. You know, again, you fill in the gaps. And then after that, you notice that you have to subtract the circle. And already, C and D were out of the picture because you can't take away and then receive more. So boom, we're good there. But then B, it, it, you're, not, you're not taking away enough. 
for me to justify this whole big piece of this. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. And so again, if you're on a time crunch, you could have found A is the answer fairly quickly, but you can still confirm it if you are quick with your arithmetic. And so with more practice, you'll keep seeing these nice, cool, and savvy ways to get these problems done. But for right now, keep practicing and focus on those small, simple steps. Kind of like how we said, hey, oh, we have a triangle minus a circle. Triangle minus circle. Then you fill in the numbers and formulas and have a nice day. So with that said, I really hope this helps my party people. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll see you in the next one. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.